the only muscle we didn't really talk about was the psoas, which is important. Obviously, you guys all know that. Um, just a real quick thing on that. What's really cool about the tongue stuff, remember, everything's built into it. So check this out. Why do you think I love the large intestine channel so much to fix back pain? Because the large intestine gets the kidney, which is great, and the kidney's in the back, okay? But also, what do you think large intestine gets? It gets the stomach. The stomach channel helps fix the psoas. So you see the tongue points already have that brilliance put into it. That's why so many of his back points are on the large intestine channel. At least, I think that. Because it gets that all together, all the time. So you don't have to outthink some of the points. The points already have some of these questions built into it. But if you are stressed or, or, or you really want to work on releasing the psoas, typically, typically, and that's certainly a very big default diagnosis, acupuncturists love. Just like naturopaths love Lyme disease, acupuncturists love to default to the psoas. That's but right. We always say that. Even in Western medicine, they love to default to fibromyalgia. Right? We all have these default diseases we always have in every, every medical community. I, I think the psoas is important. I think it's somewhat overdiagnosed in acupuncture. But also, don't forget about the pubic, the, the pubococcus, the pectineus, these either deeper muscles even below the psoas are, I think, almost as important. Usually when I treat the psoas, I'm thinking liver and stomach to help get the psoas and the pectineus and all those things. Now, what's cool about that? What's the large intestine also get? Liver. Wow. The brilliance of these points, it's already kind of in there. That's kind of what I dig about the tongue stuff. You're like, wait a minute. Oh, whoops, it's already in there. Very interesting.